Remember Gideon. God said, blow the trumpets and break the pictures. The enemies will become confused. They'll fight each other. And they destroyed. The enemies destroyed themselves. Gideon didn't have to lift a hand. And God gave them the victory. Then in Ezekiel 38, 22, it says that God is going to stone the earth. And the textual essence is that each of these stones will weigh a hundred pounds. Why? In the Old Testament, under the law, great sin was destroyed by stoning. God is going to say, I personally am going to wipe out the last of these people with my hand. And I'm going to leave. Now, if you have a King James Bible, the rest of them have a very, what I call, limp-wristed interpretation. But the King James Bible, in the 39th chapter, second verse says, I will leave but a sixth part of thee. Leave but a sixth part of thee means I'm going to kill five of you and leave one. So if there's, let's just say six million come, five million die, one million go home. Why? Because God wants a witness. He said, so that the heathen nations will know that I am God. He said, I want those people to go back to every nation they came from. And I want them to go back and face their people. And say, we went down to destroy the Jews. And we went down to destroy the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we were annihilated. We have come home in absolute defeat because the only real God is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not our God. This will be the end of the Russian military force forever. This will be the end of the Islamic revolution forever. Millions of people are going to die in a matter of a few short hours. <sighs> the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel that it would take seven months to bury the dead. In the valley of Hammon Gog, meaning the valley of the hordes of Gog, it would take seven years to gather the weapons of war and to burn them. That's how many are coming. Now, Here's the conclusion. This prophetic portrait paints the following sequence of events. America and Europe become weakened and cannot respond to Israel in time of a Russian Arab invasion. This is God's plan. I say it again because God wants to present himself to Israel and to the nations of the world that he is the defender of Israel. <laughs> Russia with Arab allies will plot and plan Israel's destruction. That's now happening. Iran's nuclear weapons are being assembled. The Islamic Revolution Arabs are using the roadmap to peace to get all the land that they can to forge this attack against Israel. When Israel says it's enough, then they're going to begin to bring that massive military force forward and they're going to be destroyed by the hand of God on the hills of Israel. Now here is the critical point for you in all of this sermon. You see on the television how that this war looks like it could start in a matter of weeks. But in the scripture, the church leaves the world three and a half years before this battle starts. That means we are going to leave this world very, very soon. I'm going to tell you next Sunday exactly how soon you don't want to miss that sermon can we stand to our feet